Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all been having a very happy and productive week. And I say that every week and every time I film because I genuinely mean it. So I hope you guys are having a great week. Now being Friday, it is that time of the week where I answer one of your questions. So if you guys have any study related questions that you want featured in an upcoming video for question of the week, then leave them in the comment box below or even send them through on my social media accounts for Twitter and Instagram. Just follow me at study with Jess. Alright guys, time to get into today's question of the week and if you find it very helpful then make sure to thumbs up. Okay, so this week's question comes from Ava and she asks the following. Ava says, Hi Jess, first off I love your channel so I hope you answer my question. Haha, -ha, you're in luck Ava. I'm studying at uni but I'm interested in branching out and learning other skills that we just don't get taught. What's your advice on independent learning and how can I make learning new skills easy if I don't go to class to learn them? Keep up the amazing work. Hugs and kisses, Ava. Thanks, Ava. So really good question. Um, I feel like this is such a good question to address, especially based on just where I am in life at the moment. So being a YouTuber and an author and an entrepreneur with my stationery line, Seated Educationary, if you guys haven't checked it out, I'll leave that down below. There have been so many things that I have done over the last two years that I had to teach myself. I never had formal learning for these. So I never knew how to film. I never knew how to edit my videos. I didn't know how production and manufacturing of stationery worked. I didn't know how to run a website. And I actually didn't know how to post a video on YouTube. I promise you, I kid you not, I went on YouTube and YouTubed how to use YouTube. So yeah, independent learning 101. I honestly think it's so important though that we're constantly pushing ourselves and challenging ourselves to learn new skills and just grow as individuals. So if something interests you and you're not learning it at school or college, then absolutely go out there and be self-taught, learn. Independent learning is so fantastic, it's so empowering. And I feel like in this day and age, we are so fortunate because we have all the information we could ever need and want right at our fingertips. So all we have to do is go online and everything is there. We can access anything that we want. We can learn so many new skills and we're not restricted anymore by where we live or what our financial situations are or what school we go to or how old we are. It's so awesome. So I definitely wanted to share with you a couple of different tips for learning new skills really quickly or easily and also how I've been learning new skills as well. So one website I found a few months ago is actually called Skillshare and I see this popping up on Facebook all the time. All of my friends that are starting their own businesses have liked this page too and it's so funny because I'm thinking, oh, I know that website, I use it. So Skillshare.com is a fantastic website full of thousands of video tutorials and the reason I love it so much is because I'm a visual learner and I've said this so many times I learn so much better by actually having someone show me exactly what to do I think it can be really helpful to read about something but to see someone do it is so much easier when you're trying to learn something for the first time and then on top of that because they're really bite-sized quick videos and it's also online you can learn at your own pace so I really, really love this website. It doesn't matter what you're trying to learn. You can learn things from knitting a blanket to yoga videos to how to use Instagram, how to edit your videos on YouTube, how to use Final Cut Pro. So I'm really enjoying it because I still feel like I'm getting the hang with filming and editing my videos and there's been some really good tutorials I've been accessing. So yeah, if you guys want to check out Skillshare.com, I'll leave a link to that website down below and you're welcome to hop on and have a look at all the different kind of videos there and you can even make your own little like virtual classroom where you get to select all the videos you like and that you want to learn from and you can always go back and revisit them too, so that's awesome. And I honestly think it's been helping me a lot especially actually with my Instagram feed. I found one video on Instagram and I feel like I'm doing really well at the moment. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go follow me at Study With Jess. Leave me a comment, I'll try and respond. And I hope you like my new feed. I feel like I'm doing really well so far. Now, apart from finding awesome websites online to teach you different information, something I wanna say when it comes to learning something quickly is it's not enough just to watch someone do it. You actually have to implement all of these skills and try and implement them right away. So I'm sure it's just common sense though that when we hear information or we see it, 
it's not going to stick into our minds and we're not really going to learn exactly how to do something if we don't get to have a hands-on approach as well. So if you are watching video tutorials, if you are reading about something, make sure you actually get to put all of those skills into play and do it straight away so that you are able to really consolidate all of your learning. And then what would this video be without me doing a little bit more research? So I actually went on to a couple of different websites trying to find some other tips for how to learn new skills quickly. And something I found on the Forbes website was actually talking about a particular skill called interleaving. And it was talking about the results that had come from quite a few studies. And it was saying that variety is better than repetition. So what that means is instead of doing the same task over and over again, try and tweak it. So for example, if you're trying to learn how to dribble a basketball, rather than just standing there for a good hour every day, you know, seven days a week, dribbling the ball, try and change up your drills. So try and dribble between cones and then try and dribble on the spot, try and dribble going forwards, dribble going backwards. So don't change the task specifically to be too different, but just tweak it a little bit so that you're actually getting the hang of this task in different situations. Now you can even use interleaving if you're learning photography, just changing up the lens or taking some photos inside and then outside in different lighting situations. So you're still focusing on objects that are really close up or you're focusing on nature or faces, whatever it is that you're trying to get better at but you're just changing up what you're doing just a little bit to add that variety and make sure that you're acquiring that skill the best that you possibly can. So I really urge all of you guys out there, no matter how old you are, what school you go to, where you are in the world, to make sure that you are doing some independent learning on the side. It's so important because it actually is also something that makes you a lot more sought after when it comes to getting internships and jobs as well. It shows that you have that motivation or self-motivation, determination, that you're curious, that you are constantly looking to you know, further your own skill set and expand your skill set and you're looking to grow as an individual as well. So it's fantastic to do something like this for yourself and it will also mean that it sets you apart from anyone else when it comes to applying for future jobs as well. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video and like I said, I feel like we're in this fantastic position where information is so readily available that we really should just take advantage of that. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, then thumbs up and leave a comment below telling me what you thought. Or if you're actually learning a new skill at the moment, then please share it down below. I am forever learning new skills. I think it's awesome. So yes, please, I'd love to read your comments. And if you have any other study questions, leave them down below as well. And you can check out some previous videos up there and also my study skills book by checking the link in the description box. And I'll also leave a link to Skillshare, the website that I've been using recently. That'll also be in the description box too. Okay guys, have a very happy and productive weekend and I'll see you on Monday for some yummy, healthy study snacks. Woohoo! Brain food, yes, see you Monday. Okay, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye!